close friend of mine from uh, business came to me recently and he asked me for some advice. Uh, I was very taken off guard because it was a very emotional uh, situation. He said to me, he said, I'm thinking about getting married again. He said, and I don't want to screw it up again. What do I have to do? And I told him, I said, everything has to change. He said, what do you mean? He said, I never ran around. I never drank. I never did anything. I'm not a bad guy. I said, that's not what I'm talking about. I said, the reason why your first marriage failed is that you are a businessman who happened to have a wife. I said, if you want your second marriage to be successful, you must become a husband who happens to have a business. He said, you're right. What do I have to do? I said, you have to become aware of yourself. You have to watch every single decision that you make. I said, when you, a telephone call comes in from your most uh, precious client, and it also a telephone call is coming from your wife, I said, you put the client on hold and you take the call from the wife. I said, if you do that, watching every decision that you make, I said, gradually you will become a husband. You don't become a husband because you say, I do. You become a husband by the way you behave over time. Aristotle said, virtue is a habit. It's a habit we become over time. The same thing goes with spirituality. You can't learn spirituality. You can't read a book on becoming a husband and become one because you read it. Spirituality is the exact same thing. As the ancient alchemist said, as above, so below. The same rules that apply to all areas of our lives are also the same rules that apply in spirituality. You have to become a spiritual person. And the way you do that is by staying awake, being aware, and watching every single decision that you make. Paying attention is what the Zen masters call that. Pay attention to yourself and make the right decisions on a consistent basis and gradually you become more truthful to eventually, hopefully, you become the truth. That's the only way you can attack the, the, the problem of spirituality. It's exactly the same way as a person who's trying to lose weight. An overweight person doesn't learn how to be a thin person. An overweight person can't be taught to be a thin person. An overweight person can only become a thin person. They become a thin person one deferred potato chip at a time over time until they gradually lose the weight that they're trying to lose. Now does this mean that people can't help you? That we can't be helped by other people? No. We can definitely be helped by other people. We can be, you belong to a community of people that encourage us to stay awake, to be mindful, to pay attention. And we certainly can be helped by a teacher who is helping us to stay awake and be mindful. Someone that is going to keep reminding us of the ways in which we're backsliding and falling into our old habits of thinking. A lot of times the best thing we can have in a situation where we're trying to make a change in our lives is have somebody who's gently prodding us in the ribs every time we start thinking the same way that we used to think. I can't teach virtue any more than Socrates could. But Socrates said he could midwife the process of someone becoming virtuous. In much the same way, I can't tell you spirituality, I can't teach you in a technical sense spirituality, but I can help midwife that process where you can become a spiritual person, a better person than you are today with the right priorities and the right values. Here's where the faith comes in. When you finally make the transformation from businessman into husband, you're going to suddenly find out that your business is working better as well. This is a metaphor for what Jesus said. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and everything else will take care of itself. And it takes a lot of faith and a lot of trust to live your life as a husband thinking that eventually somehow this is going to, in a way you can't understand, it's going to actually affect your business in a positive way. But you have to make that decision. You have to live that way and see if I'm right or if I'm wrong.